Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. Now, I am revisiting a game that I recently did a video on called Cohen's Towers, which I found to be essentially unplayable. Now, my memory of the game was that it was very challenging and difficult to play, but not unplayable. So, uh, after I recorded that video, I, I did a bit of... Uh, Googling, the Googleage, as the French might say, I'm sure they don't, and um, decided to check some of the settings that I had in my emulation. And uh, what I discovered is that by setting the game to NTSC mode, it runs faster, and that uh, seems to affect timing of things in the game rather a lot, which um, I guess isn't a huge surprise, although. In my experience, most games don't become unplayable when you change from uh, between PAL and NTSC, although obviously the, the speeds of things are going to be different. So, let's have a go here. This is uh, running in NTSC mode. Uh, I actually wasn't able to get this game working in uh, Atari 800, the Atari 800 emulator, so... Um, I take back what I said about him being unplayable. This is a piece of crap. Unrequited crap. <laughs> so this dog business is a little frustrating, actually. But, um... If you're careful, you can avoid him. Jump over, jump over the dog. I don't know why I'm saying him. The plants are not automatic death sentences. They are in the, uh, in the first time I was playing is quite nice, and, um, ooh, I thought I was done there. And here we are, making the mail drop. Uh, you can't do that. What I just did was try to dodge the dog close to the, close to the edge of his turnaround range, and if you do that, you will perish. So, uh-oh. So that was a mistake. You can't go up too far. That is still true. However, you can actually jump a little f and fall a little further than uh, than if you're playing the game with the wrong video system. And there we go. Good. So I'm going to hop off here. And remember, try to remember that these elevators only go up so far before they run right out. I'm not quite sure why plants only fall down there. Uh oh, dang it. Okay, well I didn't do much better, but I did actually get one piece of mail delivered, so there you go, I guess. Memorandum from the boss to personnel of personnel office from the boss saying that my nephew has started and he needs to get all the mail to the mailroom. So there you go. I'm going to hop off there. Dodge Mr. Dog. Dodge Mr. Dog. Dodge Mr. Dog. It's quite a bit of mail to pick up given how difficult it is to uh, move around this game. Yes, I did. Gosh. So the player is not as painfully slow as when you're playing in the wrong video mode, but still pretty slow and frustrating. Very easy to miss time those jumps onto platforms that are coming up. You need to give yourself quite a bit of leeway. Lots. Okay, one piece of mail about to be. Oh, maybe not. God, stupid dog. So, this is a frustrating game to play, actually. 
and uh, my comments about it being, you know, a good game. I don't exactly take them back, but, or sorry, not being a good game. I don't, I think I'm not going to withdraw that. Like it has, it has the potential to be a good game, but it's just, it's just tuned to be too damn hard. You know, if the character moved a little quicker, um, then, you know, in terms of jumping and uh, walking and and uh, basically, you know, things that are going to kill you didn't just pop out the second you set foot on one of their platforms and kill you, it would be a much better game. Frank Cohen might disagree with me, but uh, I'm not wrong. So now, there are a lot of pieces of mail in this building, wow. I don't know if... You have to get all of them? I think that's what the memo said. Although there is that key business as well. Although it feels like a bit of a death sentence to even try. Oh, is that a good thing? The lady? Should I go see if I can make contact with the office lady? Give me points. I guess that's a good thing. Oh, and then something popped out and killed me. I didn't even see what it was. So that's totally fair. Totally fair. Why wouldn't you want a game to do that? Just randomly kill you with no warning. I mean, that's, obviously it's fun when a game just sort of randomly kills you and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, why wouldn't that be fun? And I'm dead. Sigh. All right, so I felt the need to make this video to sort of, uh, as a bit of an apology, because I had messed up the settings, and which made it completely unplayable. So I take it back. It's not completely unplayable. It's, uh, it's mostly unplayable. See, there's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, God. Yeah, that's great. Come on out, dog. Why don't you see if you can kill me right away, immediately, upon starting playing the game? Because that's fun, right? That's fun. So a plant's going to fall. I should have time to dodge it, yes. And the dog comes out. And I mean, oh, I thought I was dead again. Take it back. I'm not immediately dead. So with the timing here, I guess you do have a bit of a chance, but, uh, I mean, God. The way the dog just pops out with essentially no warning, the tune starts most of the time, but not always. Uh, I was going to see if I could pick up that key. I don't know if I dare try to do that while I'm holding an envelope. Okay. That's cheap. Super cheap. <laughs> so this game isn't going to win any uh, playability awards anybody except maybe the world's biggest masochists. Yep, I'm dead again. So the only curiosity I, I have at this point is about that key. Because uh, I just feel like I'm probably never going to, oh my god, never going to come back to this game again. So I wonder if you just get to jump the dog eternally or if you do it 14 times he'll go away. I mean a real dog wouldn't, so maybe Maybe Cohen's Towers dog won't either. Looks like the timing is not going to work out for me to get one of those downwards platforms, though. Oh, maybe this one will. Nope. I mean, I probably could have made it had I, had I made my way over there earlier. Okay, let's...
Let's try one more time to pick up that key. I don't know if you can do it. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> it's funny because it's so dumb. Uh. I'm actually kind of regretting playing this game again <laughs> and making a, a, a sort of apology video. Okay, let's see what happens with the key here. You can't go any further down, obviously. So what happens when I try to go up? Will I insta-die? Oh, well, if I do that, I'll die. So the timing of that is obviously quite difficult as well. Oh, the key is gone. Does that mean I have a key? Oh, I do. Oh, and I kill myself. Good news. So does the key do you any good is my next question. I mean, without collecting all the mail. So, I grab a piece of mail and try to make my way up to the mail drop. Here comes the plant. I jump off. You can only have one piece of mail. Yeah, why would you only be able to carry one piece of mail at a time? I mean, this is the world's most inefficient office workspace. Not only do they try to kill their workers at every turn, you can only carry one piece of mail in a go. I guess on the plus side I do in fact have a key and ooh that was, I feel like that was kind of lucky. Just high enough not to die. I'm just trying to try to go up to the top of the building here. Whatever that means. Okay, there's at least one more floor that I can get to. Uh, what's that? Is that another mail drop? Oh, it is. Interesting. Great. So if I go up here, assuming I don't die, I am kind of morbidly curious. I guess it's conceivable that you could get good enough at this game to pick up all the pieces of mail, but it's a lot of mail. Is this the top of the building? Let's find out, shall we? It is the top of the building. Oh, look at that, Fanda. And the dog got me, so that's great. So that's, ooh, I fall. You plummet all the way through all of those floors and everything. So, can I conceive of finishing this? Maybe? Maybe? Pretty tough. It's interesting that there are three mail drops in total. Now, I should be able to get up to the mail drop with this run. I do have a key. Thank you, that's not softly pleasant of it. Okay, gotta try to avoid uh, jumping to my doom. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed that one. Bugger off, dog. playing the game that I've declared is terrible. Well, I think I'm on my last guy here, my last player. I'm going to I'm going to play this out if I happen to be good enough, lucky enough and good enough to uh, get to the next level. That will be a minor triumph, I'm going to say. Oh, and who's this guy? I don't think I'm going to go try to touch that guy. I feel like it's what the heck? Why did I die there? Okay, so there's some intriguing things about this game, but God, it's very frustrating to play. So, that concludes my revisit of Cohen's Towers, in which you can see that the game is, in fact, somewhat playable when you have uh, the right kind of configuration. So, so there you go. Cohen's Towers revisited. Thanks very much for watching. Do appreciate it, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.